My name's Zach Flores, and today we're going to be reviewing the Swiss Army Egg, which is one of the most high-performance single fins I've ever shaped. Let's get into it. The Swiss Army Egg that I shaped for myself is about 7 foot by 20 inches wide and almost 3 inches thick. The board has a semi-low rocker and it has a little bit of concave in the nose so it nose rides just a little bit. The rails are a soft down rail and there is hard edge in the tail. When I glassed this board, I used all epoxy resin, actually apex resin, and I put a lot of different flex patterns into the cloth itself. That means that I cut different oval size shapes, I cut circles, I cut a bunch of different shapes of cloth to try to make the board flex the way I wanted it to. I've had such a fun time riding this board up at Malibu and at Swami's. It's worked great for waves around four to six feet, and it's even done pretty good up in the ocean side getting into little barrels. One of the best parts about this board is for a single fin, it's extremely fast. Uh, for waves like Malibu and Swami's, you're gonna be needing to go faster to make the whole wave, and that's one of the best parts about this board is that even as a single fin, it makes those sections, and you're able to pump you're able to carve and do all the things that you do on a more performance-based surfboard. The ideal conditions for this board are probably around three to six feet. Point break waves work great. Beach breaks are fun. The favorite part about riding this board is how well it paddles. Like I said, it's almost three inches thick and the deck is very, very flat. When it's really crowded and you're riding this board, you can catch waves 10 feet further out than everybody and snowboard past them down the face. People do not enjoy it, but it is definitely enjoyable when you're the one doing it. So the shape came out of riding a board that my buddy Saxon shaped for his mom that had a super wide nose, and I think it was a pintail. That board I rode at VLAN for a couple of days and I was able to hang 10 on it and it was only a seven foot board or under. And once I got back from Hawaii, that was the first thing I did, is tried to shape a board similar, or at least something that was going to work in a similar way. So it's something that you can still nose ride just barely if you're really quick, but it also is really light, really fast, more similar to a fish or something. Stability-wise, fairly stable. Maneuverability-wise, pretty dang maneuverable until you max out the speed of the single fin, or at least the, what the single fin can hold in. And finally, the tube riding ability is probably like a 5 out of 10. Anyone can ride this board. It's extremely thick, so it paddles extremely well, it catches waves very easily, and it has a lot of, I guess, potential for growth. You can start going basically straight on it, and you can finish doing roundhouse cutbacks and getting barreled. So there's a lot of opportunity to grow on a surfboard that has this shape. 
if anyone's interested in a Swiss Army egg, just hit me up. Give me an email. We can talk about getting a board shaped for you. Last thoughts. I would never review a surfboard that I don't like. The surfboards that I don't like generally get given away, left at the beach, or thrown off of cliffs for fun. So, I'll talk to you guys soon. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave me a comment if you liked the video and this style of video. Let me know if there's any other videos you'd like me to make for you. Please subscribe. That'll keep me making you more content. Love you guys. Aloha.